Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to break down the sun, solar wind, review one of the big stories of the year, see a paper by NASA and NOAA on space weather, and a newly identified tektite stream in Australia. You'll see there were small eruptive events around the limb, but once again, the bigger eruptive events on our star have avoided the Earth-facing position. Several more M-class solar flares from the departing group and CMEs from behind the limb. Coronal hole approaching the limb there. Next one not visible yet. On the sunspots, bigger groups turning out of view to the right, leaving us fully focused here, southern incoming quadrant. We have four notable active regions, but all would need growth and a bit more complexity to flare. We'll be watching for that today. Now let's come to this morning and it appears that either the final CME or the coronal hole solar wind enhancement just arrived in the last couple hours in the solar wind. Had another dip into geomagnetic storm conditions earlier this morning, but it was minor. Luckily, it looks like the second CME missed and the third was weak. Our field has had time to recover. Even with the coronal hole stream potentially coming today for another impact, we are unlikely to see significant geomagnetic storm activity beyond these low levels. So we're off to the articles. Up first, we've got the experts putting it in layman's terms. The major temperature anomaly and circulation event failure off the coast of Panama this year. It kept away the cooler upwelling and decimated parts of the local ecology. And this type of anomaly has never once been seen on Earth before. Ocean shutdowns are continuing. If you missed our first coverage of this story or you didn't understand it, get back on track now. Up next, NASA and NOAA team members joining up to talk about space weather. They pay a bit of service to the size of super flare the sun can make, which is nice, but they also included a helpful infographic that tells you which solar events do what. Solid look here at solar flares, CMEs, coronal hole streams, and the events they cause on Earth like radio blackouts, magnetic crochets, solar energetic particle events, geomagnetic storms, and more. Lastly, folks, Turns out an unidentified stream of tektites in Australia was incorrectly labeled as part of another. The problem? There's no impact crater for these ones. I mean, they can't spot it anywhere, even with satellite and AI assistance. Now, while no individual tektite could truly be pegged in origin without fission track dating, which this team didn't do and the isotope dating they used is one of the worst, but what's important is that tektites on Earth either come from volcanoes, meteor impacts, or the solar micronova. These are not volcanic. There is no crater for them, which they say should actually be enormous and easy to see if it was there. Folks, tickets to the winter tour would be a great birthday present to me. Most of you know how much I enjoy the Observer events. This is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth. Five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. The experience started yesterday at Observer Ranch. After this, we have only a few events left this year. Come out for the end of our rookie season. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.